The federal government today warned Americans not to use e-cigarettes following several mysterious deaths linked to vaping. The CDC issued a stark warning. If you are vaping, no matter how old you are, you should consider stopping. In an increasingly health conscious world, less and less people want to consume the harmful toxins and carcinogens associated with smoking. For this reason, it truly seemed like vaporizers were going to become the primary method of cannabis consumption. Vaporizers made up almost a quarter of all Californian cannabis sales in 2016, and researchers estimated that the market for concentrates would be on par with smokable flour by 2022. Even outside of the cannabis industry, vape cartridge sales soared and cigarette sales plummeted. Vapes were marketed as being more discreet, more potent and better for your health until very recently. In the last few months, there have been over 850 reported cases of vaping illnesses and at least 12 deaths caused almost entirely by vaporizers containing THC. As a result, the industry remains shocked and frantic, with some calling for more prohibition and others stating that the recent tragedies may actually serve as the perfect argument for legalization. Virtually every case of vaping illness comes from an illicit vape, and when NBC investigated these vapes, they almost always tested positive for pesticides, vitamin E, and a fungicide called mycobutanol, which, when burned, turns to cyanide. As the crisis continues and the numbers affected continue to grow, the future of cannabis vaporizers has never looked so uncertain. Though until the industry is legal and regulated, people will continue to use products with unknown